Bastila Sean was a Jedi of Bastila. 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 Bastila Sean. We did it, people. Five videos later, I'm learning how to say her name. <laughs> but my goodness, if you didn't hear the news, there was a patch release just hours ago today on Friday that released a hotfix for Bastila Sean because her leader ability was broken during all this time of testing and until just a few hours ago. So the bug that was going on with Bastila was regarding her leadership ability and most importantly, the 150% tenacity bonus and 35% more damage. Apparently, when she was granting the protection up at the beginning of Battle for Jedi, it was preventing the Jedi from getting the 150% tenacity and the 35% more damage. And it was hard for anyone to notice because those things are very intangible, very abstract. It's not like you can notice turn meter or buffs being gained. This was really hard to notice and it makes a huge difference. Jedi kind of resist pain all the time from Sion. They're resisting shock, they're resisting stuns, and they do some pretty big damage. And this right here, Bastila and Jedi are now arena and meta viable and I'm gonna probably make another video probably tomorrow or the day after But they also can win on defense against Emperor Palpatine and the trade combo I said this so many times before in previous videos But there's the Palpatine's not gonna be the permanent fix for Sith and they can easily make something to counter Palpatine and Bastila She's the character that's gonna counter because of all the tenacity bonuses all the turn meter Palpatine's gonna fall I think eventually in Treya she's gonna become the new most used Sith leader if Bastila does become a thing. So here we go. Let's just start off by going after Ezra. Uh, have him go ahead and attack um, Trey. We're just going to go full blow on her. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how a fix like that changes this team drastically. I mean, this team doesn't really have any crazy characters in except Bastila. She's paid to play it right now. But man, we're able to clobber through this team. Let's do this. Let's call in um, Ezra to assist again. One hit, I mean, the damage output's gonna be high. Look, 50,000 damage from Ezra just with some basic abilities right there. Here we go. We're gonna finish off uh, her, hopefully this ability right here. There we go, Trey is gone. The self-cleansing is completely gone for the Jedi now. But what I really wanna show you, I mean, we have Cyan under control, but when Cyan does his torment ability, we're not gonna see barely any pain. And this isn't just a talking about uh, Palpatine and whatnot. I've tried this against Jedi Training Ray, and when Jedi Training Ray tries her mind trick ability, even she gets resisted a ton. It's absolutely bonkers. And I've done a ton of battles, and I haven't struggled whatsoever. Oh my goodness! 65,000 damage. Sorry, I was a little too excited right there. Oh my goodness. Let's finish off uh, Palpatine. My goodness. I, I mean, I just, it's it's crazy. I mean, we, we it's just the, the simple changes totally reinvigorate the Jedi faction. It's just crazy how much they can do now. And um, I think there's a lot of potential for Jedi. I mean, I'm showing a full Jedi team. Full Jedi teams are totally viable. And it's funny, just today, I released a video talking about what's the best Jedi leader. And we were kind of like, eh, it could be Yoda, it could be uh, Bastila, but it's for sure her now. And look, we have no pain. On our characters, no pain, no gain, people. Now, some of you guys might be happy, but for those of us who invested in Scion, or you know, you, like for me, it took months and months and months to farm this guy. I don't even have, don't even have him at seven stars. You might be a, a bit upset about this. And um, I mean, wow. I mean, I'm not even struggling, guys. There is no struggle at all right now. I mean, I actually probably could do Yoda's AOE and not worry about pain because Yoda resists it so much. My goodness, my goodness. Here, watch. We're gonna do this. Let's see if we get any pain. No pain. We didn't get any pain because of the tenacity bonus from uh, from from the leadership. It's absolutely bonkers. Can we get an ability block? Uh, it's game set match, guys. Game set match. This is just. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Did you see this? Look at this. Hush. Hop. Here's a good boy. Can you do your? Here's a good boy. All right, go by. I completely forgot to mention this. Uh, with the Grandmaster's training coming from Hermit Yoda, we're getting 200% tenacity on Jedi because when you grant this, you're getting 25% uh, or actually 50% accuracy, defense, offense, potency, and tenacity. So our tenacity is through the roof with Bastila, and we also have, have some crazy damage now, 35% from the lead as well as 50% from Master's training. I mean, guys. I know I'm gonna show a battle. I didn't even have the gear 12 pieces on my Hermit Yoda, so I mean, I, I missed out on 12 extra speed. But if you don't have Hermit Yoda, highly recommend it. But let me put together a team that doesn't need Hermit Yoda for a more, uh, I guess, obtainable team for most people.
All right, I, th I think we're gonna miss out on a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna put Anakin Skywalker here just for fun. Uh, I just want to put something together really quick because I am just absolutely pumped right now. Crazy pumped, but what's going on? Let's do a mind trick. And that 50%, the 15% turn meter bonus, that was happening before, but still even after, I have to point out the fact that that has, it's it's crazy. It, al it allows me to outrun the other team by a large margin. Here we go. Let's do a big hit on Treya. Uh, that wasn't big enough. All right, let's call in um, Yoda to assist. Uh, yeah, let's do Yoda to assist so he gets all the buffs. All right, 23,000 damage. Let's just keep hammering away at Treya right now. Here we go. Look at 7,000 AoE. Not bad at all. 35,000 damage. AoE from Anakin. All right, we can get some more down the road. Let's call in uh, Yoda to assist again. My goodness. My goodness indeed, people. I mean, there's so... I, I have, like, so many ideas on full Jedi team that I want to do. I mean, we'll do another battle or two of full Jedi teams. This is just... This video is purely to show... The potential of Jedi, and yes, if you're curious, this does the Bastila does work. She works great on defense with certain um, hybrid combos. Even a full Jedi team gives Palpatine a bit of a struggle, which I'll show at, show at the end. But stay tuned for the future video. Look at that, no pain, no stuns. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, but the, the next video, I want to show some more defensive teams that go up against the meta. But guys, I mean, uh, if you have Treya. If you're going to start seeing a lot of her, it's probably time to move on to uh, Treya as the lead. Because Palpatine, I mean, I've said it before, very easy to counter Palpatine uh, with uh, with a sim simple thing like this. Getting the 150% tenacity at the beginning, it makes a big difference. No pain, no pain, no gain. My goodness. I, I, I can't, that's like literally my response right now. Look, no pain. I, I have no, I, I used to be worried about always using the AOE ability, but now I don't have to worry about it because we're just not getting pain. Let's get a stun on uh, Nihilus. There we go. We actually got the stun. Very nice. Come on, let's keep get working on uh, Nihilus here. No pain. Oh, we got one pain on Yoda. They have a singular pain on Yoda. Other than that, there's no problem. And that was another concern that we had. We're like, we need something to control the uh to control scion and we always thought we needed fracture or something but now with the the 150 percent tenacity we have a we have a lot better chance to just avoid the taunts completely there we go and let's uh, see now we got they got a couple pains in us this time so they're gonna get uh they, it's, it's working a little bit better for them this time but here we go let's spread this around very nice aoe finish off the nihilus and it's game set match people all right, another full Jedi team that I had no problem whatsoever going up against Treya and all the other cohorts. So very impressive indeed. Simple little things. But let's try some other full Jedi team. This video is the kind of makeup for the previous videos that couldn't show full Jedi because she wasn't working. And now she's working wonderfully. All right, so let's fast forward this battle and move on to the next team. with the, Let's try Ayla Sakura. Ayla Sakura sounds like she might be fun. So we're going to try Ayla Sakura this time. A lot of stuff she can call uh, uh, people to assist on her basic. If they're Jedi, they get 50% more damage. She can recover health. She also gets to counter chance. And if she counters, she calls people to assist. And she can stun when she gets a critical hit so a lot of cool things going on here but I think the core kind of like when the Yoda rework happened we said there was the core of Yoda Hermit Yoda Ezra and General Kenobi the core here is a lot easier Yoda Ezra Abastila and old Ben and Abastila is really the only uh, she's the harder character to get right now but obviously in a, in a little bit hopefully three months she'll be uh, free to play farmable hopefully not a hard no that's the thing I'm most bummed about I, it's so cool that Jedi are viable but it's like oh man now we gotta wait uh, until they finally make her free to play and then it's gonna take six months to farm the character so by the time i finally do get her to seven stars who knows the jedi meta might be uh might be long gone all right let's do uh hmm i want to do kind of the basic to get someone to assist here let's see there we go oh, we got old ben to assist not really what i was looking for yoda come on join the party uh trey is gone she's gone people she's out of this team yeah palpatine's the palpatine lead that's the weak link at the moment uh, and the thing is, like, he, his unique used to be a problem. Palpatine's unique, that is. But uh, with all that protection that we're getting at the beginning, the 200% the protection up, it's, it's like it, I'm not too worried about going after Palpatine first. Before, I felt like I had to go after Palpatine because um, I felt like his unique was just going to chop away at my Jedi. Now it's not a problem at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stun Nihilus. Uh, see, I'm still having an issue of Bastila's stun, even though I gave her a lot of potency. Still some troubles getting her to stun, but um, I got her potency up to 47%, and at least she's stunning a bit more often, but still, I wish it was 100% perfect. I'm just going to keep using the basic. There we go. Ezra to assist. That's what uh, Ayla's here for. Can we get it? Oh, no, she is. She's not going to counter. There we go. Old Ben. Another reason why he's better than General Kenobi, because he's going to soak up that taunt, uh, soak up the fracture 
and uh, still keep Taunting Fresh, which is great when you have the Zeta. All right, just got to keep working on Darth Nihilus, get an ability block, perfect. Call an Ayla. Let's come on, we need to get some more assists here. There we go. Oh, that's, well, that's Ezra calling himself to assist. Uh, getting a lot of stuns here, a lot of control. I mean, there's so much potential for the Jedi now. I mean, this is a pretty accessible team. Ayla's easy to get, Yoda's easy to get, Ezra's super easy to get. How much damage can we do? 13,000, that is impressive. All right, I mean, another battle that we won here, guys. I mean, a lot of options. I'll see if I can think of one more full Jedi team that we can talk about. And then uh, we'll just save the rest of our conversation for hybrid teams that do very well on defense. Oh! <laughs> 64,000 damage, yikes. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. That is crazy indeed, wow. All right, there's the battle. I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to end, the, end our video with showing how a full Jedi team does on defense. And I don't think a full Jedi team is going to be as viable as some of the hybrid teams, but it will give Palpatine and all of his cohorts a run for the money. And uh, I probably will win, but uh, it, yeah, it's a full Jedi team is still pretty good though now. So in the background right now, you're going to see me take the same Palpatine lineup we were clobbering and take it up against what I think is going to be one of the best full Jedi teams in arena and although we did win it wasn't a pretty victory by any stretch of the imagination so pretty much the point is is that jedi are now viable with a simple fix of bastila shan's lead and it opens up a lot of opportunities and kind of like i predicted and many of uh, many others predicted out there is that palpatine is not going to be the permanent band-aid for the sith treya eventually is going to come up and be the queen for the leader because Palpatine's leadership is very easily counter counterable with something like super high tenacity that can't be dispelled and that's exactly what Bastila Shans Lee does and so much more on top of that. So you guys let me know between not getting pain, not getting debuffs, a ton of turn meter, a ton of damage, all the protection up, the Jedi are looking pretty good and I think the return of the Jedi is soon to come. She's a pay to play character so we might not see the movement fast but expect a lot of whales to get this character and start mixing things up in the top end of arena but you guys let me know down below if you're interested i'm going to show the hybrid lineups on what works really good on defense against these type of teams and if you want to see best list at three or four stars let me know as well i think now that's a really good time to talk about that type of topic but if you did enjoy the video go ahead leave me a like comment down below on your thoughts on this amazing little fix they did and subscribe so you're not missing a thing and until then Son of a bitch. Party Richter, Party Richter. Down, down, down.